Welcome back to the Grim Workshop. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Timogen Tan Signature Survival Card. Dr. Timogen Tan was a contestant on Season 9 of The Alone Show. Dr. Tam served in the Canadian military. His YouTube channel is Survival Doctors. Like all of the Signature Series Survival Cards, this is designed to fit right into the credit card slot of your wallet so you can carry this thing with you all the time. So all of these tools are going to be usable. And they come off the card. And the first time you take them off, there's usually a little tab of metal holding them in place. So a little wiggle will get that free. So here's our all. So this is going to be completely usable, completely functional. And then when you're done with it, this is a non-adhesive, non-magnetic backer. So all you got to do is push the, push the tool back on the card. Just give a little press and that's going to hold it in place for you. Now the back side of this, if you peel this back, this is permanently adhesive. So if you had a tackle box or the side of a boat or an RV or something that you wanted to keep a few key survival tools with you, you could peel this off, stick this right to that flat object, and then it's going to be there all the time. Now, Dr. Tan's card also comes with a sheet of sandpaper. Now, a lot of the cards do, and I use these a lot, so I don't always keep track of which ones originally came with a little bit of sandpaper. But this is exactly the same size as the card. So you could carry these in a stack. This fit in an Altoid size personal survival tent. Or even if you had this in your wallet, it would slip right in there. And this is available separately. So if the card that you normally carry doesn't have sandpaper, it's a really worthwhile addition to any survival kit. Let's start breaking some of these tools down. We'll start down here on the bottom. This is kind of a, kind of a neat multi-function tool here. And definitely unique. Never seen this before on a survival card. So this does several things. And here on the bottom, we can see this is a saw. So we've got directional saw teeth, fairly aggressive. And I like the length on it. This is going to give me a, a pretty long cut for the length of saw that you're dealing with here. So I've got a couple holes. So I can either half this onto a stick. I can use this by hand. Or I can also run cords through here and make small handles for myself. But always a welcome addition to have a saw on a card. You can also see here I've got Tamage's signature and his Survival Doctor's logo. And the teeth here on top, well, this is actually a comb. So definitely not something that I've ever seen before. I guess if you've ever camped with me, you probably would be in favor of me carrying a comb. But that's definitely unique. Hygiene is important in the wilderness. And then on the far end here, we can see the, the spacing is a little bit different. And this is actually a tick remover. So definitely unique. You've got hygiene. I mean, you're going to be looking good when you're finally found. Uh, you've got crafting abilities with that saw. And a tick remover is always handy to have with you in the woods. So let me slip that back on the card. And then the next item we're going to pull off is an easy thread needle. So this is a really nice size needle and this is an easy thread needle. So you don't have to necessarily thread your cord through the eye. You can clip it right through there. So that is a handy feature, especially when you're tired and maybe if you've got older eyes like I do. And if you're working around camp at night, threading a needle sometimes is the hardest part of the project. And a needle is not something to overlook in a survival situation. This is one of the more heavily traded items on the American frontier. This is going to help you maintain your first line of defense for core body temperature, and that's going to be the clothes on your back. So over here to the side, we've got a fishing lure and a couple of hooks. Let's pop that out and take a look at it. So this is kind of shaped like a spoon, more or less. This is not going to really spin in the water. And you've got two individual hooks with this. Let me break these out of here. The way I would use this is just to attach a single hook down on the bottom. I carry split rings. I carry them in my cash patch on my hat. So that would be my first choice for this. If you didn't have that, trapping wire would certainly work. You could also use a heavier braided fishing line or whatever type of cord you had. But that is going to go a long way as opposed to just flipping rocks and digging bait. You've got a legitimate fishing lure available. 
So we're going to skip this center section for right now. We're going to look over here. We have three circle hooks. So of our three circle hooks that we've got, the largest is going to be the easiest for you to see. Now a circle hook is my preferred style of hook for survival fishing. This is best used for passive fishing. So if you're setting any limb lines or jug lines, the fish just naturally sets the hook for you. So I'm a huge fan of survival fishing and this card is loaded up for fishing pretty well. We've already got our fishing lure with our two hooks. We've got our circle hooks. And then here in the center, we've got five gorge hooks. So a gorge hook is best used for passive fishing or if you're gonna hand fish these, you better let them swallow the bait essentially. So that small indentation, dead center middle, that's where you're actually going to tie your line on. And then you put the entire gorge hook in bait. So this is going to be in line, right in line with the bait. Then as, as the fish actually swallows the bait, it's swallowing the gorge hook. So it's going to go in straight. Then with a tug, either from the fish or from yourself, it's going to turn and it's going to lodge in the fish's throat. A gorge hook is not the most efficient fishing method available, but this takes up hardly any space at all on the card. I'm really glad to see this as an addition because that's five more chances that you have to catch fish. Now you could also use this as a toggle for a trap. So this is actually a multi-functional item. So that brings us up to the top of the card and right inside of our knife we've got our awl. So an awl is a tool that makes a hole and this works in bark, it works in leather, it works in softer wood. And if you don't have an awl, then you're using your knife tip for everything and you're limited. With a knife tip, you're, you're only gonna get so small. So this is a really handy tool to have. Again, this was a common item that was traded on the frontier that shows you how important this was. Now this all actually has a little bit of texture to it. And that's gonna do a couple things for you. It's gonna give you a grip. So you can put this into a handle if you were in a longer term situation, which I would do. But if you're just making one or two holes through some light material, that's not really needed. You're just going to be able to have enough grip on the handle that you can bore those holes and then put it right back on a card. The fact that this has a grit to the handle, that kind of looks like a file to me. So I would use this to sharpen my knife. I would use this to sharpen my hooks. You could shape any type of trash resource that you were to find. So definitely a handy crafting item. Here's the knife on Dr. Tam's card. And you can see the whole body of the knife is kind of got a slot in it where the awl was. And that is a cool feature to me. This is going to let me add a lanyard really easily. So if I was going to use this knife for any extended period of time, I would at least put a lanyard on it. Less chance of losing it and it gives me a little bit of control, a little more control with a smaller blade like this. And I don't have to go right through a small lanyard hole. So if I'm using improvised cordage, either cordage that I made myself or maybe I found cordage that was non-standard in size, uh, you'd have to be half blind and not get it through that slot right there. So that's pretty cool. Now, I'm a big fan of also putting a handle on a knife like this. So with this, I've got the option of hafting a handle pretty easy. I could attach this to a larger stick if I wanted to harvest maybe some wild edibles or I could certainly make a spear point with that as well. So the fact that that's a hollow slot, that gives me a lot of options. And I also like the size on it. I want more handle than blade personally. So that is plenty of blade right there. That's over an inch. And it's kind of scalpel shaped. So go figure. Dr. Tam is going to design his knife kind of like a scalpel. A great little knife, great backup knife, or if that was all you had, you could certainly get by with this tool. The Tamage and Tad Signature Survival Card is solid. This covers a lot of survival bases and it does it in a really unique style. So I've got tools for crafting, I can fish, I can repair things, I can deal with first aid problems, and all of that in a small card that can slide right in your wallet and you can carry with you every day.